got to have my coffee this morning. i got to get pumped up. It's Monday morning. Are you serious? I'm Paul Begley. Can I read to you a couple paragraphs? Uh, very important on this asteroid. 2011 MD. Let me read to you right now. This is critical information. An asteroid. 2011 MD, a chunk of rock estimated to be somewhere around 20 to 65 yards wide across is expected to pass less than 11,000 miles above the Earth's surface around 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, actually, the, the exact time they are project, projecting is 1.14 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will happen today in about four hours and 15 minutes. Now listen to this, about four hours from now. Here's the thing, the actual event will be observable only from South Africa and parts of Antarctica, but the approach will be visible across Australia, New Zealand, and Southern and Eastern Asia and the Western Pacific. If you're down there in Australia, my friends, Australia, New Zealand, you people down there in the southern part of Asia and the Eastern Asia, you're going to be able to get a glimpse. You're going to be able to see this thing as it approaches. Oh my, what a powerful thing that would be. Let's show it to you right here on the map. I want you guys to see this because I think it's powerful that this asteroid, this 2011 MD, was not even heard of. No one discovered it. It didn't exist. Let's let's take the camera right now and get it to where we get a bit better visual here. Are you all, are you okay? Can you deal with this? Here's the deal. This asteroid is going to go sweeping from right. It's going to enter the atmosphere. It's going to start sweeping through, and it's going to cut right. The path is going to be about just about like this as it races past the Earth. It's going to, if you're in the southern eastern part of Asia, you're going to get a beautiful glimpse of it. The Australians and the New Zealands are going to get a beautiful, it'll be in mid flight, powerful, as it cuts through here and then it cuts through the southern, right here. They say without question, South Africa area, right in here, because as it goes right by the tip of you, you guys are going to get a great view. So is. These folks down here in New Zealand, Australia, and Southern Asia, you guys are get them. And then this thing will keep going right on past Antarctica. Unfortunately, the South Americans, you're not going to get to see it because of the time of day. This is going to happen at 1.14. It's going to go flying through the earth. It's going to be a powerful moment. Is there anything in the Bible that talks about it? Yes, there is. If you go to Luke chapter 21 matter of fact let me just say this i just thought about this as this came to me in luke 21 25 it talks about there'll be signs in the sun signs in the moon signs in the stars there'll be many nations with distress among nations and perplexities oh and there would be the sea is going the waves are going to roar we're having in the philippines as we speak they just had a horrible storm right up here in the Philippine Islands, right here, this as this tropical storm hit, 15 are dead, 90,000 people had to evacuate because of the tropical storms that's already starting. And, and here comes this. Remember something about this asteroid, 2011 MD. Nobody's seen it six days ago. It didn't exist. You mean to tell me the Hubble telescope, the International Space Station, every observatory and powerful telescopes and robotic arms and eyes looking all over the sky searching, and nobody's seen this rock come until it got within five days of America? What makes you think they can tell you when the end of the world's coming? They've got it all figured out. They can't even see this thing coming. Five days. Five days. Are you saved? Paul, I don't know if I'm saved. That's a big problem. It's about like a rock coming at you and you don't even know it's here. Then it's upon you before you know it. You know, the end of the world is going to end that way. I mean, everybody's going to think they got it figured out. Everybody's going to think it's not going to happen. They're going to say in the last days, they're going to say peace and safety. Then there's going to be a great destruction. Did you realize there will be men in the last days saying, where's the promise of Jesus coming? Ever since I was a little kid, I've heard about the second coming of the Lord, Jesus coming back. Where's he at? 
Things are never going to end. They're going to continue just as they are. That's going to be what you're going to hear. The angry atheists are going to say it. The false doctrines that are going to be preached are going to say it. The false leaders, the, the new world order is going to say it. The antichrist is going to say it. The false prophet is going to say it. And just when everybody thinks they've got the world all settled under this new world order, just like this asteroid races past the sky unexpected when you least expect it, so will Jesus Christ come, but much quicker. The Bible says he is lightning, comes from the east to the west, so shall the Son of Man come. Are you saved? Are you saved? Are you saved? This afternoon, you folks down there in Australia and New Zealand and, and Malaysia, some of you down in that part of the area, I'm not sure if Malaysia can see it or not, but any of you down in there, some of my partners and friends, get out and look for this thing. Tell me what you see. Maybe you can get it on a video camera. Maybe get some film. We need to hear about what the spectacular as it races through the sky. I'm Bob Begley. Oh, I'm going to be back. I got a lot of news to cover today. It's Monday. Are you serious? Yes, I am serious.